Today we're going to learn about plotting. So let's go to packages and install a package and we're going to type in ggplot2 and we're going to get that from the CRAN library if you haven't already installed it. Go ahead and install that and what ggplot is, it's a very elegant and aesthetically pleasing way to graph all kinds of plots and a lot of people refer to it as the grammar of graphics because you can basically do anything with these um, with ggplot it's super powerful and you're going to see why here in just a moment so now that it's downloaded and installed let's load the library ggplot2 and we're going to play with a data set called the diamond data set so let's take a look at that first let's do view and just type in diamond oh diamonds Okay, so here we have um, uh, the carrot, the cut, a color, clarity, et cetera, et cetera. And we have a bunch of data on here. Um, I'm going to look at mostly maybe price and the carrot, just whatever we really feel like doing it. We're going to play around with this stuff. So I'm not sure what all this stuff means. Again, how do you find more data about it? You can do question mark and then type in diamonds because diamonds is another one of those data sets that comes with it. So here we go. Here's all the um, description of the data set. Looks like 53,000 rows and 10 variables. Cool. How else could we have done that? We could have done dimension, dim. There we go. 53,940 by 10. Cool. All right. Let's play with ggplot. So the first thing you want to do is you want to uh, bring in a data frame, diamonds data frame. Again, we're not manipulating this. We're not going to change it so we, can, we don't have to store it in our RAM in our environment. Our environment is empty because we're just going to hit command enter on this and you're going to see that nothing happens. So it's it's a function called ggplot, but as you can see over here on the right hand side where it says plots, uh, it's just a blank slate. So we've, we've told ggplots, hey, get ready, we're going to use you, but we didn't really do anything with it. So what we have to do is we have to set up this plot and get, get it ready get it going we need to supply some more information so let's put some aesthetics on it so inside of the parameter of ggplot the second parameter here we can put an aesthetic aes and as you can see here it says aesthetic mappings describe how variables in the data are mapped to visual properties aesthetics of geoms geoms is like a layer like what geometry is it a point is it a bar graph what is it Let's start off with just doing something simple here and saying um, x is equal to the caret, because that was one of the um, features. And we'll say y is equal to the price. And now let's hit enter. As you can see, nothing plots. But we did get a couple things here. We've got a grid. We've got caret across the x-axis, 0 through 5. And we have price along the y-axis, or the vertical axis. So it didn't know what to plot because we didn't tell it what kind of plot. So in order to do that, we gotta add layers or add a geometry. So we can add just like math, we can hit the plus button and I'm gonna put this on the next line because remember white space doesn't really matter so much. I'm gonna add a, uh, we want a scatter plot. So I'm gonna add something called the geom, G-E-O-M underscore point. And just like that, open and close parentheses and we're going to hit command enter on that. And now let's see if we get an actual plot. Now there's 53,000 rows. Here we go. So we said X is the carrot and Y is the price. And we have a scatter plot. Pretty ugly. Let's just say that. So let's add another aesthetic. Let's add an aesthetic called color. And we'll, we'll relate the color to something called the cut. If you remember, let's go back and view this. View diamonds the cut is either ideal premium good very good so based on the cut let's see if there's any any places within this scatter plot that a certain cut might be say more expensive than another cut let's just try that out so in order to do that, we have aesthetics that says X equals carrot, Y equals price, but there's also one called color we can add. We can say color is equal to and cut. And if you're not sure uh, what the features are, you can always do diamonds and then hit the dollar sign and then do cut and it'll, it should do the same thing. 
It's just a little messier when you're typing it all out. Here we go. We've got some cool plot here. Let's zoom in and take a better look. Here we go. And it obviously comes with a, a legend over here. Fair, good, very good, ideal. So we have carrot price, and it doesn't really look like there's a, a lot of correlation that I can see. Maybe, um, maybe the yellows are a little bit to the uh, left and upper part. I'm not sure. There's not, I can't see anything in there. So that's the idea between um, by plotting. So we can plot various things. X doesn't have to be carrot and Y doesn't have to be price. But if you look at it again, let's view this again, both carrot and price, they're both numerics. So we have carrot and price. Uh, we also have X, Y, and Z, which I'm sure has to do with something with the cut. We have table, we have depth. Let's do color, actual color as a feature and see if we get anything good out of that. So instead of uh, the color actually being the cut, we're gonna make the color the actual color feature and see if anything pops up. And notice that color is a, ooh, that looks pretty cool. It's a factor, it's not a digit, it's a categorical variable is what I meant to say. So there we go. And that's how you do a basic plot. Now, it's re-rendering every time I change the size here, so it does take just a moment to re-render. And now you can see some pretty cool things here. Um, it looks like the darker blues are always on the top left. Some yellows are kind of, you know, they're all kind of in line, sort of, almost like a, a curve can fit that almost. And we'll get into curve fit in here in the next lesson. Let's Pick a different data set. Remember, we learned about the iris data set, so let's let's plot the iris data set. So remember, if you just plot like this, could you plot? It says, hey, get ready. Here's a blank slate, but I'm not going to do anything with it. By the way, your aesthetics does not have to be within your ggplot uh, function. You can actually add that into your geometry function. So another geometry, we wanted to do geom. We want to do another scatter plot jam point let's put our aesthetics inside of there x equals and i'm not sure what we have for choices here but we'll do let's do sepal length for x comma we'll do y is equal to remember you could type an iris dollar sign to get the things here let's see if length and width have any correlation or draw something cool this, this is just going to be black and white oh it looks like a bunch of just scatter plot that's what it is and let's just go ahead and add a color for fun so color equals and then do this and let's make the color the actual species because that's most likely a categorical variable obviously and here we go there we go so now what do we see here we've got some sort of cluster in here all this red and then you have this little outlier red one here you've got the green and blue a little bit mixed up so pretty cool, and so the species type is on the legend here, and we have our axes here. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to change some of the axes and make them look more pretty, aesthetically pleasing. That's it, play around with that, uh, change up the different parameters, and there's many, many, many tweaks to this, but this will get you started on plotting.